This video is going to cover installing the Project Free Fall source code and content for those who want to edit maps or source code. So before attempting to follow the How to PFF Source document that is found in the source code zip, let me pull that up. So that source code zip there. What's expected to be installed is Visual Studio 2017, some flavor of it. If you don't have a license, Visual Studio Community works fine. I do recommend following what Epic has put out to edit some of the Visual Studio settings for better workflow for Unreal Engine projects. And then you also need to download Shooter Game from the Epic Games launcher. You can find it in the Unreal Engine, Learn, and then it's down towards the bottom right now. There's a Games section, Shooter Game. And then in here, if you don't already have it downloaded, this will be a button that says Download. You also need to have installed the relevant engine version. I already do, so 4.19 as of recording. With that done, we can start attempt attempting to create a project with Project Freefall source code and the content files needed to run it. So the initial name here doesn't matter much. This is going to be your folder name. So I will name it tutorial because of the video. So you need to open the file location, so show in folder. And now we can start with the installation. So you want to copy over wherever you have the content and source code zips, extract them in the project folder, overwrite anything it requests, and now you want to rename the uProject file to Shooter Game. This is the first step in the How to PFF Source document. So, right here. With that renamed, we're just going to move on to the next line, which is generate the Visual Studio project files. And then open it up in Visual Studio. And for any new project, this could take a while. There typically are quite a few files that Visual Studio parses when creating these initial projects. So while that's going, So you don't have to wait for the parsing files and solution to complete before you can go to rebuild solution under build. So build rebuild solution.
And as I said, this could take a little while initially. Okay, this rebuild all to succeeded, zero failed, zero skipped, that is what you should expect to see on successful build. So now this Visual Studio can be closed, it doesn't really matter, it can be left open too if you have things to do later. So now back in the shooter game project folder, open the shooter game U project file. And again, this also can take a little bit on the first startup. So, compile. Once this is complete, I'm going to close and reopen the editor. So, compile, close the editor, open shooter game editor. Yes. If you ever get that message, just yes. So now I'm going to set this document up for quick editing. So now I'm just going to work through this whole section here. So, edit, project settings, and the easiest way to edit these is to copy the names there that I have marked and then start editing the values. And for this setting, it just has to be a free fall game mode, and it doesn't even have to be. This just changes the default game mode for maps. Action mapping is preferential. At the moment, all of my configuration is sent with the source files. And so if you're fine with my preferred bindings, go ahead and use them. Otherwise, you'll want to edit them to your uh, preference. Same goes for mouse sensitivity. In the editor, you find that here, you know, mouse X and mouse Y. And then Post-processing is, actually I'll edit these for me as well. So yeah, post-processing is another thing I'd recommend going through and disable motion blur. The rest of these, preferential, but motion blur, I've struggled to find anybody outside of recording that would want motion blur. It's quite jarring in a game that needs to whip around a lot. So we'll go here. So for this default, default map that's included in Unreal Engine, this is easy enough to set up. So you go to world settings, start typing game mode, and then You've got game mode override here. If I change it to free fall, the game will load up. But when I open a preview window, it'll open up a pre uh, free fall game server, kind of. Uh, so gravity, that's another thing to check for maps. Uh, the value being used is negative 2,000. 
which happens to be the same as the shooter game Gravity. The last but not least, engine scalability settings. Here, I'll go back to full screen to make that a bit easier to see. So, under settings here in the middle, engine scalability settings. This will essentially edit your view settings. Whereas, if you go to the play button and write the drop down list to the right, advanced settings. This will give you your play in new window configuration. And I want to edit this because for my purposes, this is way too small. So I like to play a new editor window, play in viewport, it doesn't really matter. So but this is Project Freefall now. It's running on the included map, High Rise, that comes with Unreal 4, or rather Shooter Game, the uh, Unreal 4 project. But this is a proof that Project Freefall is up and running. When you see the HUD, that's typically a good sign. The HUD loads when the game mode, or when a Freefall game mode loads. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this will be helpful for anybody that wants to do any map editing or mess around with the source code. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy playing around in the editor. <laughs>